Good evening, I'm Maddie Beer Temple. Thanks for watching KX News. Leading local tonight, a truck drove into Lake Sakakawea last night and fell through the ice, according to the Dunn County Sheriff's Office. No one was injured. Deputy Nick Barnhard said multiple agencies are reporting to the scene at, at an inlet known as Skunk Bay. They're working to remove the truck. Barnhard wouldn't say what the truck was hauling or if any material spilled. He says it's still an open investigation involving the three affiliated tribes and the EPA. North Dakota teachers in the Head Start Early Education Program will not be required to be vaccinated against COVID-19. That's the ruling of a federal judge this weekend after 24 states, including North Dakota, sued the federal government over President Biden's executive order. Louisiana Judge Terry Doty wrote that the Biden administration unlawfully bypassed Congress when ordering that Head Start workers be vaccinated by January 31st and that students two or older be masked. Head Start is a federally funded education program for children from low-income families. The judge wrote that the separation of powers prevents the mandate from taking effect. And it's not yet clear whether the federal government will appeal the decision to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans. The frigid temperatures over the last few weeks aren't just bad on humans, but also our four-legged friends. Freezing weather can cause cracked paws, flaky skin, and puts pets at risk for hypothermia. Cameron Brewer spoke with volunteers at Furry Friends Rock and Rescue about a weekend rescue that saved multiple puppies. In times like these where the weather is significantly cold, um, it's bitter to you and I and to these animals. It's even worse, especially when they're in unfamiliar territory or environments. Um, and even more so when they don't have access to regular shelter, food, or fresh water. These cool shepherd mixes are three out of four siblings that were rescued over the weekend after they were spotted living under an abandoned trailer on the south side of Bismarck. We're a little concerned at the time because he had not seen the fourth puppy for several days, so he had presumed that either the puppy had not survived um, when the initial cold front came through or something else had happened to her. Saturday, the fourth puppy was spotted and then examined for its condition. Right away, we assessed the puppy and we observed to see if she was able to intake any fluids or had any interest in any food. And she was able to consume a little bit, but she wasn't able to keep it down. Volunteers later found out that the puppy tested positive for parvo, a disease that affects a dog's intestines and causes them to become dehydrated. This morning, they contacted us saying she was still very, very weak. Um, she, her blood labs weren't normal. So we've since authorized to go ahead and try a plasma infusion in hopes that that's going to rejuvenate her system. The other three siblings, a brother and two sisters, are being kept by a foster parent in Mandan. Just a house is probably the starting point and um, obviously um, a big heart, um, maybe for a couple of reasons, a big heart to bring them into your home, but also to be able to let them go too. <laughs> because you do kind of fall in love with them. How they're doing without their siblings, she said. They seem to be doing pretty well, but you can totally tell that they are attached. The three that we have here, you know, are attached. Um, I'm sure they probably miss her. It would be nice if we could reunite them. Reporting at Bismarck for KX News, I'm Cameron Brewer. And Furry Friends is actively seeking volunteers. They have about 130 animals in care now. And to learn how to sign up, you can visit our website at kxnet.com. Many travelers during the holidays bought round-trip tickets for the new year. A lot of them were disappointed with canceled flights due to the weather and the new Omicron variant. KX News spoke to a new town traveler who flew with his family from Bismarck to Louisiana to see his daughter for New Year's. Jay Hale says it's been six months since he'd seen her. He says there was no trouble getting to the Pelican State, but there was a cancellation on what was supposed to be his return day. On the way, the, on, we were supposed to fly out of Shreveport last night, but they kept pushing our flight back because uh, someone from traffic control, from my understanding, in Dallas got tested for COVID. So they, had, they were pushing flights back, so we couldn't get out of there until till, uh, this morning. In some cases, weather has been a contributing factor to cancellations, but also staffing shortages in the airline industry have been a major concern as well. As fishermen head out onto the ice this winter, game and fish departments are reminding people to be extra cautious. Conservation officers say you should have the proper equipment with you and watch out for heaves, open water, and other dangerous spots when out on the ice. 
North Dakota Game and Fish also says beware of ice covered with snow since it can hide cracked ice in open water. The department also recommends you carry a safety kit with an ice chisel to check the thickness of the ice, ice picks to help pull yourself out if needed, and a cell phone to call for help. Anytime you go on a frozen body of water out in the ice, uh, you can't be 100%. It's never 100% safe. There's always factors out there, whether it be uh, wind um, breaking ice up, whether it be a spring in the area, um, heaves, things like that. Cochran also says people should have a throwable flotation device with a rope, GPS, and other items to stay warm. Now here are some of the top stories of the week from KX News, in case you missed it. Auto repair shops are as busy as ever. However, like many industries, repair shops are facing product shortages. Uh, we've been fortunate that we've been able to get 95% of our customers taken care of, but there's those parts out there that we just can't get. Chad Isaac will spend the rest of his life in prison without the chance for parole. Family and loved ones of the victims spoke at the sentencing, explaining how they lost so much because of the murders. Reich accepted the state's recommendation with four consecutive sentences of life in prison without the possibility of parole. A group of concerned citizens is calling for a state audit of the Williston School Board. The group is collecting at least 800 signatures in order to petition the state auditor to look into the school board's finances. The group says updates on the creation of the districts are long overdue but have not been forthcoming. More than 1,500 people across the state have tested positive for the flu and according to state data, many of them are children. We're definitely seeing influenza in our community and you know with other respiratory illnesses around it's hard to know um, if it's influenza or COVID or some other respiratory illness. North Dakota Senate seats will be filled with some new faces and new leadership ahead of the 2023 session. The minority leader also says politics has become less civil, something she would like to see improve. We can bring back respect and civility and, and, um, and like I said, it's, it's, it's eroding a little bit in North Dakota and I hope it doesn't take the turn that national politics has. Coming up next on KX News at 10, we'll check out our national day calendar celebrating the genre that bridges the gap between fantasy and reality. Plus, how much snow can we expect to see this week? Meteorologist Tom Schrader will have your full forecast still to come.